Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and it is time for more Nuclear Throne. We are on update number 41. New proto statue, new rebel changes, new B skin. Loads of tiny changes and fixes. I don't know what uh, this one means. I'm sure that's something much later on in the game that I have not yet reached. And the rebel changes, I haven't read up on that. So I'm not 100% clear on what that entails and if that will make rebel a more playable character for a scrub like myself. Since there has been a new update, that means that uh, all the characters that take little achievements to unlock are locked. Most of the stuff is nice and reasonable. You know, reach the sewers, die kill 100 enemies. These are things that I can usually do in a single run, of course, outside of horror, which usually takes a little more effort, but it actually doesn't matter because, as I said last time, it's time to get a little bit serious with my Nuclear Throne play. I want to start making progress. We spent a lot of time, uh, and it was valuable time, playing all sorts of different characters to get a feel for them, but now it's time to actually try to get better at the game, to try to push forward, and to try to win. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is Crystal. Crystal starts out with additional HP in the form of two additional HP, which brings you up to 10. And Crystal can also shield thyself. I do have the B skin, which is uh, pretty cool, but you can see that there is no B skin graphic for the shield. So despite my awesome golden exterior, I will still shield in the standard purple. B-skins, as far as I know, really don't do anything additional for you other than just making you look darn cool. So we're going to progress here, going to try to remember our fundamentals. Things like dodging, things like uh, aiming, you know, the sort of stuff that you have to do in order to succeed. Oops, that almost went very poorly for us. That was a decent first level. We almost got uh, a whole uh, mutation out of it, so I can't complain there. I guess I should probably refer to them as stages, because I guess the things that you gain from collecting XP are levels, so... I don't know. Uh, shotgun versus Slugger. I do like the shotgun quite a bit. Uh, I am a huge fan of it. Uh, but I think right now the, uh, the Slugger is the way to go. Nice stopping power on the Slugger, of course. Uh, though we might give up the Slugger for a laser pistol. Hmm, I think think we're going to do that, but first let's take care of these young maggots. Oh, I can't believe I got hit by that. All right. Never assume that your bullet is actually uh, hitting where you think it's going to hit, I suppose is the lesson to be learned there. Uh, so yeah, let's change the slugger for the laser pistol and let's have a little fun. Got to remember, of course, that we do have the ability to shield ourselves. That's very important. Uh, that is one of the things that I'm actually generally pretty good at. They really want to sell me a shotgun here. Disc gun? No, thank you. Uh, so we'll make sure that we're careful about picking up our ammo box. We want to get more energy when we pick it up. So the weapon that you have selected is the weapon that you will receive from a large ammo crate. Is the ammo you'll receive from a large ammo crate like that. So, you know, that's a pro tip. Mm, yeah, a pro tip from an absolute amateur. And that'll do it for this level. That's a really cool thing about this game, though, is learning that stuff on your own. Much of what I've learned about Nuclear Throne is uh, is actually completely self-taught. I have started watching other people's content related to Nuclear Throne uh, very recently, and I've learned a whole lot from watching those people that have been out there making Nuclear Thrones videos for months, and a lot longer than I have, and a lot more uh, intensely than I have. And uh, those folks have learned an awful lot about the game and as such have now educated me. So thank you, especially to BizSnap, who I've been watching. He's a great uh, Binding of Isaac player, uh, but has also gotten pretty deep into Nuclear Throne. Most hit bullets become ammo, and that is just bullets. Shotgun fingers, I'm missing that, uh, yeah, I'm missing that, uh, what's it called? The weapon I had. Slugger, that's right. Ah, uh, Gamma Guts. Yeah, there's not really anything here that I like in particular. Uh, it's more speed. I... This is a really tough first mutation. I'm glad that I'm so close to my second mutation. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, sure. Enemies touching, t I don't, yeah. I mean, you know, that's, that's something. You know, there we go. We just, <laughs> we just bulldogged right into that, uh, that little guy and just killed him dead. So, you know, that's, that's fun, I guess. 
Of course, I don't want to fool around too much because I'm going to end up getting myself hurt. But for now, this is kind of fun. Of course, we can't play around with the uh, little maggots because they will uh, teach us a lesson. Oh, hello, bandit. Come at me, bro. Uh, yeah, so graphical glitches that are occurring in this uh, update. I did briefly play around a little bit uh, prior to, to starting up here. And I did notice there are a lot of blue flashes. I don't know if those are actually going to be... Hey, there's that slugger again. Those are actually going to be coming through, but uh, it's got to be some sort of animation issue. Uh, it just seems to be certain animations, uh, when they play or when they don't play, a little blue flash occurs. So, you know, you'll see that throughout the video. I'm sure that's something that'll be fixed by next week's patch. No problem. Doesn't affect gameplay, as far as I can tell. It does just uh, just make a little, little visual cue there, a little visual distraction, if you will. All right, kills lower your reload time, more speed. They really want me to take more speed, and there's those shotgun fingers once again. Hmm. Guess I probably should have picked up that slugger, huh? I really want the, what is it, laser brain? The one that increases the power of your uh, laser weapon? But Rabbit Paw will help us greatly. So let's continue forward with that. I guess I could be lasering these rats, but my accuracy is such uh, that I definitely feel less than confident wielding a laser gun against them. All right, and I missed what that weapon was. I was so concerned with not getting killed by rats. Uh, is that a crossbow? It is a crossbow. I think I'm just going to go... Uh, yeah, we're going to go all out here. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we did get hit, but again, we have our, uh, our nice uh, mutation, which allows us to do that damage right back to him. So not effective when you're taking damage, not an effective way... To, uh, to take enemies out when they do damage to you, but, you know, it's a nice bonus. Okay, let's not miss. Right, we got some ammo. We are max on all our ammo here. And uh, now we've got uh, a couple of things available to us that could be interesting. Uh, definitely not long arms, because we don't have anything that would uh, benefit from long arms. Second stomach's great, and uh, bloodlust is okay. Uh, and again, they want us to take recycled land. Uh, yeah, second stomach, sure. We do have more ammo, or more HP, or ammo, uh, ammo on the brain. Uh, more HP, so, you know, having more effective med kits is uh, kind of nice. I like how we spawned in right on that chest. As I understand it, the, uh, the shield is not going to have any effect. Oh, come on now. The shield's not going to have any effect against melee. I do believe that they will just bash your crystal face in. If you try to uh, hide from a melee enemy using the... Hmm, not nice. Not nice at all. And I almost bit it right there. The poor play is starting to accumulate here. And it is building a deficit that I don't know that I'll be able to recover from. But we're going to try. Definitely need some ammo pickups. We should start to see ammo pickups. Seeing again more of those blue artifacts. And that was just... That was just bad. That was just straight up bad. So let's get back into things. Standard crystal skin this time. Cool. Ooh, come on now. Again, you need to concentrate on not making the little mistakes. And that's what I almost made right there. That's what I made to end that last run. The little mistakes. The things that... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Might be a horror kind of run here. Make no mistake, I have no intention of opening up horror. But that doesn't mean that uh, through my own inaction, I might not accidentally spawn horror. There we go. So now we will not be getting horror on level 3, because we got our radiation canister. So I don't know if you noticed there, but with a melee weapon selected, I ended up getting random ammo when I picked up that uh, crate and I got ammo for a weapon that I didn't have. Uh, but, you know, no huge deal. Because we are bound to... Uh, how do I want to do that? Yeah, I think I need the revolver still. Ah, the shotgun. Hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it. I'm going to roll with it, yeah. 
Oh, and a crossbow. Uh, let's see, Euphoria, most hit bullets, and higher rate. Yeah, it's, it's Rabbit Paul for sure. I can stress about whether or not to take this uh, crossbow in a moment. There we go. A little bit of a slip up there. A little bit of a slip up. Didn't quite shield myself in time. Okay, you notice again, typical uh, typical Big Dave, when it gets intense, I get quiet. Thought that was an enemy or something hiding down there at the edge, so... Thus my spamming a shotgun shot down there, and I did definitely need a shotgun shells. I was gonna say, I'm afraid he's gonna charge me. Alright, nice amount of damage to himself there, I like that. Fundamentals, folks, fundamentals or lack thereof. That is the uh, defining characteristic of this run so far. <sighs> okay, so we left behind what looked like an assault rifle and a little bit of ammo is going to kind of give us the ability to make a comeback here. And uh, this is what I was looking for last time. Yeah, laser brain. So laser brain. And that will make our laser pistol much more effective. I believe it will make it uh, the equivalent of a laser rifle, sort of. That sort of range. Uh, but, you know, we've, we've got to stop making so many mistakes. Uh, that really is the key here. Oh my goodness, how did I not get hit right there? And it definitely wasn't uh, purposeful dodging. So somewhere there is a mama rat that I feel like I need to take out. There she is. Hello, you. A couple of them here. Definitely going to be more effective to do that with the laser rifle. Wow. I mean, the, the, the sheer number of rats is a good thing in that I'm getting a lot of XP, but it's also a bad thing in that I'm getting super dead. Ah. <sighs> Here we go again. I remember at the beginning of this, I think I said uh, it's time to concentrate on getting better, right? Right, okay. Let me internalize that message. <laughs> because that certainly is not what's happening right now. Just not concentrating here, just, just something's not quite right right now. You know, just spraying bullets everywhere. Want to make sure again that I don't leave anything behind. Uh, the sledgehammer is a, a good weapon, but I just don't feel like mentally I'm in the place to uh, to manage my melee range <laughs> and actually uh, make that a successful uh, successful weapon. So we're gonna avoid it. Oh, great, we have a special. All right. Just create some separation here. Get lots and lots of XP. Got a slugger. We can't double up on shotgun weapons. Unfortunately, on shell weapons, I should say. Uh, definitely not using this as an excuse, but that little blue flash actually is pretty darn distracting. <laughs> that is uh, in no way the reason for my uh, poor play. I can't believe I shielded myself in time. Oh my goodness. Okay, plutonium hunger's nice, attracting uh, the radiation sticks, the uh, uranium, plutonium, whatever the heck it is, uh, to your body. I think it I think it attracts ammo and things as well. Uh, last wish, uh, yeah. I mean, we've got the shotgun, uh, so the shells bouncing farther would be nice. C create some real interesting tunnels of death with shotgun shells bouncing all around, but uh, rhino skin is a, is a must-have for a player like myself. Now, Throne Buzz really good for Crystal. I mean, I think it's generally accepted to be really good, but I'm really bad with it, and it just tends to actually throw my play off. Uh, so I generally don't take it, but in this case, uh, given what we have available to us, I'm going to go ahead and take it this time. So you'll notice when I uh, when I tele when I uh, shield, I teleport to where my cursor is, and I usually don't pay a lot of attention to the exact position of my cursor more the general, <clears throat> excuse me, more the general direction of my cursor. Uh, so it can get me into some trouble sometimes. Uh, luckily, it, it, it doesn't seem to allow you to uh, 
kill yourself by teleporting into walls and things, which would be really bad if it did. Uh, but it, it, you know, I don't necessarily know the difference between my cursor being right here and my cursor being right there. Uh, because I'm not necessarily looking at how far out my cursor actually is. Okay, so we do have a, a bandit down here that we probably want to pay some attention to. Wow, I teleported right onto him. See, there you go. <laughs> Luckily, he doesn't do damage on impact unless he's charging. Uh, so that was a really bad thing. But somehow, we were spared. Oh my lord. Goodness gracious. Don't I feel like the luckiest dreamer that ever... Uh, oh wait, I messed it up. I was going to do the... Uh, gonna do the growing pains line. The luckiest dreamer that never quit dreaming, but I messed it up. That's what I get for trying to be clever, right? All right. I noticed a grenade launcher there, which means that uh, the Ninja Turtle level might be a reality. Uh, first, of course, we're gonna have to get through a yet another special. Uh, so we do have a special uh, roly-poly guy up there who I don't really want to deal with. I want to try to clear out as many of these rats as I can, and then... Uh, uh, grenade launcher. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's do a grenade launcher in his general direction. There we go. Lots of poisonous bile spewing everywhere. Okay, we're definitely going to switch back off of the grenade launcher. Uh, so we'll take the grenade launcher with us for now, again, in hopes of finding the secret level. Uh, why do we go to the secret level? Well, it's just an extra level. It's an extra radiation canister. It's an extra chance at a weapon. Uh, it's an extra chance at some XP. So, you know, why not? Uh, hopefully it results in us getting... Oh, no! I thought there was so much more of the level to explore. I didn't think there was any way that that was going to be the last enemy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Laser Brain, not a big deal for us this time around. Uh, Bolt Marrow, I almost want to take it just so that I, I eventually will have it when I need it. Boiling Veins is great, of course, but... Yeah, I'm going to take Bolt Marrow. I'm just going to... I'm going to roll the... Roll the uh, Roll the dice, that is a... Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to roll the dice on getting... Uh, getting a crossbow at some point. Lots of stuff going on here. And lots of uh, really ill-advised play from me. I was talking about Boiling Veins. I'd be in Boiling Veins territory right now if I had actually taken Boiling Veins. Oh, hello. I don't want to mess with you. Sleeping samurai. Okay. Okay, again, uh, you know, thrown butt just throwing me off left and right here. Not going to blame it for, uh, for my poor performance, but it is uh, certainly not helping matters. Oh, hello. Hi. How you doing? Great. He was as surprised as I was. That's the only reason I'm still alive right now. There we go. And of course, that's not enough to get us by. Almost teleported right into some fire there. Is that our last guy? No, still more action. Wow, lots more action down here. Lots more action. Yeah, never taken throne butt again. <laughs> it's the sort of thing that I just need to practice. I, I know... It's, it's a good ability to have. It can get you out of so many uh, close calls. It can get you out of so much and get you into so many uh, ad advantageous places. But it requires that you actually pay attention to where your cursor is, and that is something that I am generally very, very bad at. Okay, so somebody's left. That blue flash. The old blue flash. All right, so we have a crow man or somebody who flew. Yeah, there you are. Okay. That'll do it. We are progressing, and we have a really weird setup. But we are progressing forward. Go ahead and blow that up. Just some general explosions. Toss them out, since I do have their grenade launcher. It's got to be good for something, right? Clearing out as good as anything else. Clear out more of these fire traps. I don't like them. I don't like them one bit. Nicely done. Nicely done.
Big explosion, okay. All right, don't want to get too reliant on the grenade launcher because I'm going to find myself in close quarters and I'm going to find myself dead. Oh, I thought you died. I thought you died. I thought you died like twice, actually. You bastard, how dare you not die when I kill you. Okay, sneaking out. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's new. Is that a new representation? Huh. I don't know if that's a secret or if that... Well, it's dead now. That is cool. It was like a stargate. It was like a, it was like a diamond-shaped stargate. Well, now we've got ourselves some I, ID, PD, PD, ID, DB, TB. I forget how the hell you say the name. Come on. There you go. Ooh, ooh, that was smooth. That guy's thinking. What do we have here? Plasma gun. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take a plasma gun. I'm being pulled. Was, was that guy pulling me? I was being pulled. Huh, I guess that guy has a pull. I don't have a lot of experience with those guys. I generally uh, do everything I can not to encounter them. Huh, but that was cool. A new... That's either new art, or it's it's something that I'm just not... A secret that I'm just not aware of. Cool. Very cool. One of the neat things about playing this game at this point is, is discovery. Hello, you. And that was our last enemy. Okay, cool. Here we go. We got ourselves a mutation. What do we want? What do we want? Racing mind. Second stomach. Ah, uh, you know, I really... I kind of think I have to take Last Wish, but it, it does literally feel like this will be my last wish. I feel like if I take this, yeah, I feel like I'm going to be uh, on my way out. That's going to signal the end of my run, but uh, I think I've got it. If I want any chance, if I want any chance against the dog, I've got to take it, right? Now, I remember, I remember it fondly the very first time that I ever did beat... The big dog was me spamming plasma bolts in his general direction. Or uh, plasma gun bolt. Hey, no, no, no. You need to you need to die with the plasma. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Okay, there we go. Okay, that was my number one. Okay. Now. Okay, okay, okay. Still alive. Do I deserve to be? Okay. All right. Okay. Did you see that? I literally threaded the needle on those two sniper shots. Not on purpose. Not on, don't not on purpose. I know it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> and we are out. We are out. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that was just, I, you know, I'm a little bit proud of myself. I panicked in the beginning. I panicked a lot. And uh, I, I did manage to somehow, somehow recover. Um, just wasn't paying attention to that sniper back there in the back. Uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty crazy. I, I, I don't know that we made any real progress there in terms of our skill, but something happened. <laughs> something happened. A game happened. We saw that cool new diamond gate, which is either just an alternate art for the uh, throne room. Oh, the crown room. You know, that new proto-statue art. That's what that is. New proto-statue. There you go. Yeah, so that's... Okay, that thing must be called the proto-statue. Now I know. It's like putting things together, learning things. Oh, it's just... It's fun. It's one of the best things about playing a game that is uh, that is still in its infancy like this in terms of, of discovery. I mean, no, pause, full stop. People have discovered all this stuff already. But yeah, it's just fun to get in there and discover that stuff for yourself. I mean, it's part of the reason that I avoided the nuclear throne community sort of in the early going, uh, just so that I could have that, that sense of exploration, that sense of discovery for myself. All right, guys, this has been some crystal gameplay. You can see we've got everybody else unlocked for next time. I have been Big Dave, and until next time... Take it easy.